Good afternoon everyone. It is bloody freezing. It is mid-March and it is bloody freezing. After being quite a warm week, the mini beast from the east, or whatever they're deciding to call this, has arrived. Um, it's snowed and settled in sorts at home. It's been snowing all the way here. It's snowing now and it is bloody freezing. Having originally intended to go to uh, Magdala in the Nottinghamshire Senior League, I knocked that on the head due to the weather and decided to go to Thurrock instead as their game is closing at the end, the grounds of off is closing at the end of the season. That was called off at 10 o'clock, so I thought 3G it is. Here I am at the home of Walkman Hersham today. We were playing CB Hounslow. Uh, this stadium is also the home of Walkman Casuals. I have many moons ago been to see Walton and Hersham at home, um, and also quite a while ago been to see Walton Casuals at home. I have never been here to this 3G facility. Uh, here I am. And what a nice setup it is. It's set in a as one of the uh, teams, I guess the away team, arrives here, looking up for it on this glorious balmy day. A nice facility, it's called a sports hub. There's a big leisure centre just above where well, I'm looking, that building there, um, which has what well, people were rocking up with golf clubs and I'm sure all the other leisure f centre facilities that you can get. Um, I walked for Walton on Thames Station, which took quite a while actually, over half an hour, longer than I thought. Um, but I stopped to sample the delights of a chip shop in Walton, uh, which was actually exceptional, I have to say. I'm on a freezing cold day, a hot bag of chips, nothing like it. So this is looking back at the grandstand, and as I say, it's not a bad setup at all. Um, it really does look very smart here. They do say that snow, ice and frost are the one thing that can stop a 3G game going ahead. So I come in snow, ice and frost, but hey, it's still on at the moment. <laughs> Sorry, strictly no foul and abusive language. When I looked and saw that out of the corner of my eye, I thought it said strictly no foul and abusive luggage. Well, until you go to Heathrow Airport and there's some pretty foul luggage that I've seen. So we're walking around the... Well, what I'll call the near goal. Here um, is this neat wooden fence and high railings. Almost certainly won't stop the ball going flying out on many occasions, but it looks neat. It looks tidy. Um, it's very green, other than that. The green turf, the green railings everywhere. And that's looking back over at the stands. A few people milling about. I can't imagine this is going to be a huge crowd. There were huge crowds on the trains at various points coming here with all the uh, rugby fans going to Twickers. There seems to be a lot of Irish about, which is no surprise considering how well they've done. So here's the dugouts and I'm walking towards the away dugout it seems, first of all. Sponsored by Harrods UK. Don't think that's the Harrods, but we are in the Thames Territory near London. So uh, a lot of the properties I walked past on the way here were very lardy dar. Nice area, nice part of the world. Um, money everywhere. So there's um, a goal which has been wheeled out. There's the one I got here a few minutes ago. There's about three or four goals out, and they're gradually wheeling them off. Uh, you've got the tunnel behind that. This is one of those double-sided stands, so something on the other side, I don't know whether it's five-side pitches or rugby, or whatever they do there. A bit like Wingate and Finchley on our modern lads. Happiness is walking around the pitch and you see a football. Every little boy's dream. So I'm probably going to make a complete hash of this, I have to say. My little finger on my left hand is bloody freezing holding this. It is not a good day. So, coming up look at here. Player who kicked it out and gave a scream of anguish. It's completely oblivious to the whole thing. Here we go. Do 
didn't even try to kick it. So we're now at the far end. Let's have another look at the stand. Looking back at where we've come. Snow fluttering gently down to the ground with no great velocity. I'm sure actually from a plane point of view, once you get out and start running about, it won't be that bad. It is windy, it is blustery. But you're not going to get soaking wet in this. So walking up the far side, and there's the line of goals that I was talking about, which have all been wheeled off. And in fact, there's two fellas doing it. And some 3G contraption to do that. Definitely the way forward, 3G. Um, it's been well documented, the ridiculous conditions we've had this winter. Matches yet again today, cooled off. Left, right, and centre. So let's just have a little look at the training facility. Another pitch over there. And just in front of me, you can see the corner of the athletics track. So that answers what the other side of the stand is. And if you, if I stand from here, you can see that it's double sided. So to my right, as we're looking at that, is overlooking the athletics track for an athletics meeting. Yeah, but 3G, you get a good game on 3G, and I, I know the traditionalists will say it should be grass, but, you know, this is ludicrous. It's been like this since early December, quite frankly. Every single week, matches called off. Let's go 3G. I know people won't necessarily like that, but at least we'll get a lot more games on, and it's the same game. And it's not going to be watered down at all, just because there's no grass there. So I'm walking up to the top of the stand to give another view. There, walking along here so you can look down on the ground. That's a car park out there. That's a pitch we were just looking at over there. And this is Horton, Hirsch and Walton Casuals football pitch. So, don't take my word for it. Why don't you bring along yourself to this facility? Come and see it. I'm sure you'll get a good welcome. And if you're not able to get here, then go to a different non-league game of your own. And let me know how you get on. I would love to hear about it. Um, send me a tweet to at yt 40 or link me if you do any video, I would love to see it. Several other people's non-league videos I look forward to watching every week. If you've enjoyed this, please click on like. If you haven't enjoyed it, then click on dislike, like one fella did last week. Um, it's his prerogative and I'm very happy to hear that opinion. If you want to see more videos, and quite frankly, why wouldn't you want to see me freezing me nuts off every Saturday? Then click on subscribe. I've just gone up to the heady heights of 15. I will be doing cartwheels should I get to 16, at least sometime in 2018. And if you click on the little bell, well, I believe it might actually make the snow stop, so go on, give it a try. I'd love a bit of warm weather. Anyway, thank you for watching. This is Walton and Hersham, or Walton Casuals Football Club.